welcome back. Today you're going to have to excuse my filthy dirty hands but I'm here to talk about a little bit about the magnificent world of millipedes. There are over 12,000 species of millipedes in the world. They come in all kinds of different colours, shapes, sizes and they are a fantastic little critter. They make a great pet, they're fairly inexpensive and they're fairly easy to care for too. Housing millipedes is really simple. I try to avoid things like critter keepers. They have a lot of air ventilation usually around the top which can cause the millipedes environment to dry out too much or too quickly. So I prefer a plastic container, a nice cheap one. I got these for two to three pounds from B&Q and I add my own air holes with a soldering iron. Humidity is quite an important factor when keeping millipedes so be sure to do your research on your particular millipede because it can vary from species to species. For temperature of millipedes you'll find that uh, a lot of them do well at around 22 to 25 degrees celsius but again that can vary from each species so again make sure to look that up for the particular ones that you're keeping. Substrate is probably the most important thing for millipede care. Not only is it a place for them to live, they dig and hide in it, they eat it and they get moisture from it. Substrate should be made up of soil, rotten leaves and rotten wood. For a lot of bug lovers, cocoa fibre is quite often used to keep your little critters um, either living in or on the substrate but for millipedes cocoa fiber is really something to avoid it has no nutritional value for the millipedes like I said they do eat their substrate and it also can cause impaction and death for the millipedes so a more preferred type of substrate would be topsoil And like I said, there are a lot of species of millipede out there. Um, some online websites that I would recommend. There is usually some at the spider shop you can look at. And my go-to place is Venomous Visions. I'll link both shops down below in the description. So if you want to take a look, you can. But Venomous Visions has always been a place that I go to for millipedes. Um, Tony who runs Venomous Visions is really really helpful and knowledgeable guy he's helped me out tons of times and he's always there to answer any questions he's also on Facebook I'll put their Facebook page link in the description too and you can have a look at a lot of stuff there he posts a lot of different pictures stunning pictures of his movies but I want to show you a few of my own with a little bit of information about each one and uh, so you can see them.
today's video. I love my millipedes, they make a perfect pet. They're friendly, they're colourful, they're fun, it's lovely to see them when they pop out and they're fairly easy to keep as well. So, I hope you enjoy. I certainly did. And if you're thinking about getting your own millipedes, don't forget, check out the description box because there'll be some information there of where to find them. Thank you so much for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed it and I see you all next time. See ya!